And now, your local weather authority forecast. Dusty weather yesterday is now transitioning into less windy conditions this morning. Less windy throughout the afternoon today. This is a live look at Midland early on your Tuesday morning. Still dark out there. Very clear skies, but closely enough, you may be able to tell. You can see some satellites, some stars and planets indicating the good visibility. And with that, we're dealing with pretty cold air. Breezy, so feeling colder than the actual air temperatures. Make sure you guys bundle up. But at least we're not as windy as yesterday. Satellite and radar showing this big storm system that kicked up the winds and dust yesterday, moving off to the north and east. This big counterclockwise swirl indicates the very potent intensity of the storm system. Rain on the southern side, snow on the backside, blizzard-like conditions in the northern plains, and on the backside of it all, clear skies and breezy conditions. Northwesterly winds aloft, moving through Texas, also including here in the basin. As you do notice, those wind particles moving from west to east, and then came the westerly flow in the winds with clear skies. It is feeling a bit like winter this morning. Temperatures for many at or below the freezing mark. Officially 29 at the airport in Midland. Low temperature 27 so far. I think we'll drop to 26. Pretty dry out there. 67% relative humidity. West northwesterly winds at 10 miles per hour. Making it feel like 20 right now. Bundle up below freezing as well. In places like Big Spring 30. 30 as well in Snyder. 26 in Marfa, 31 in Alpine. And where we had a peak wind gust of 64 miles per hour. Carlsbad sitting at 23. Also sitting at 23 in Hobbs, so pretty cold out there. Make sure you guys bundle up. But this afternoon, quickly warming up and late this morning throughout the afternoon, we'll see temperatures rise as, at least as much as 20 degrees from what we're, you're seeing right now. Right around 50, 51 from Midland, Odessa, the Big Spring. High 40s, low 50s in the Montreal Plateau, 50s and low 60s near the Rio Grande. Average high 58 will still be below that average low, 32. Low temperature right around 26, 27, 27, my lucky number. I think that'll be the temperature for your morning commute. A bit breezy, though, so making it feel like, again, colder than the actual air temperatures. But again, as I mentioned, we'll be warming up 40s by noon. Very sunny. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses. 50 by the afternoon. Blustery, meaning pretty chilly, dry. And again, breezy out there. But not as windy as yesterday. Temperatures in the high 30s later this evening. Winds right now generally coming in from the west-northwest. 5 to 15 miles per hour from Midland, Odessa to Big Spring. A little bit more breezy in the Van Horn region to the Marfa Plateau as those winds will kick up later this morning throughout the early afternoon. Not nearly as windy as yesterday. 15 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds from the west northwest. Lightening up and then switching more from the south and west overnight. Not as cold overnight in the 30s. Tomorrow morning temperatures at or above freezing for more locations than not, especially compared to this morning. Very sunny throughout the afternoon. Cloud free conditions for many, but we'll start to see some High altitude thin clouds move from west to east tonight to tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, as I mentioned, not as cold as compared to this morning, but still bundle up tomorrow morning, 35 degrees. High temperature tomorrow in the 60s as opposed to high 40s, low 50s today. The warming trend continued Thursday, a little bit cooler Friday. Now, we'll warm up this weekend, but cold air won't be too far away by early next week, really cooling off. Make sure you check in with our chief meteorologist, Chase Menendez. He is live tonight at 5, 6, and 10.